Yo, 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 what's up, what it do, what it do? It's your boy Lou from the Lou. What's happening? What's cracking with it? What it do, what it do? Same shit, different toilet. How y'all people's out there doing today? I hope everybody getting it in. It's a beautiful Tuesday night. You know how we do. Game don't stop. It's different quarters and innings. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, seems a fucked up situation the other day, man, you know. I'm going to compare it damn near to this uh, shitty cuz and Nip Hustle situation seen in the, uh, the news about the little 20-year-old brother that was shot a couple times, a few times at a store he just opened. I know, you know, he, not a, he might not be as big as Nipsey. That's cool, but look at the situation. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. You got a young brother made a come up, got his hands on uh, some change or whatever. He invested his money. And he put it in the business. The business might not have been in the hood, but it was in the neighborhood. You know, um, it's an area where people go. It's it's the hood. It's a neighborhood. It's a community. People gonna go. You got a store. You got fashion. You got things in there people want to buy. People want to see. People don't want to see you make it though. That's the point. You know, we want good things, but we don't want you to have those good things. So it's fucked up that the little homie was out there with his mother that day, if I ain't mistaken, and some fool jumped out the whip and got the blasting rounds off at him. Fucked up situation because, you know, he did get shot. He is in critical condition, and I hope the little brother make it. We don't need no more bullshit-ass homicides. It's fucked up because the little homie got his mind right. He got his money right. Obviously, he had an LLC. He got everything in order. He had his ducks lined up. He had everything in order to get his business started. He had his business started. He had the doors open, ready for business. And some hater jump out the bushes and get to shooting at him, put the brother in critical condition. I don't think St. Louis is going to ever be able to make it. That, that's, that's my outlook. I don't believe that we're going to ever make it as a big city as long as this shit keep happening. We're not even established. You know what I'm saying? Here it is, a little brother came up on some, was able to provide for his family, his friends, and all this for generations, not just today, not just tomorrow. He wasn't, this brother didn't just create a, a job. He created a career. He created an opportunity for himself and his people. And instead of us trying to capitalize with this brother and monopolize with this young brother, we want to take it from him. I don't know what the problem. I don't know what the beef is. I don't know what the, the, the commotion was all about. I don't know. The brother could have had a beef with somebody, a problem. He could have did something. I don't know. I'm not there. I, I, I wasn't there. I wasn't around. I don't know what happened. But I do believe his mother. I believe his mother's statement saying that these fools are just out here hating on a young man that just made progress in his life. And that's all it is. That's all it is. You know, it's like... You work all your life for shit. You could be 40, 50, 60 years old and here come a nigga with ain't got shit, nothing to lose and come take your shit right from up under you. You done work 30, 40 years for your shit. You know what I'm saying? And it happens on the daily. Not just in St. Louis, but on the daily. You know? And it's a fucked up situation. Fucked up situation that this little brother worked as hard as he did, put this game plan together to damn near have his life taken from him because somebody don't agree with him or don't like him. This brother is about to open up plenty of doors. And you about to close this whole brother life down for him. Because you upset, because you mad about something. Man, I don't know what these brothers is into is in these streets. But man, if I see a brother making it, you know what I'm saying, and, and progressing, the last thing I want to really want to do is try to take him off of the face of this earth. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just unexplainable. And, and and it's unexplainable because if you got a problem with this brother, that's understandable. But when you jump out the car and you just get to firing shots and he's with people, you're not just shooting at him. You're shooting at everybody around him. And his businesses in this area. You're shooting inside of businesses. Where do you think them bullets is going, homie? You think them bullets vanish when they don't hit nothing? You think they just disappear? They disintegrate? This ain't no fucking video game, man. When you shoot them bullets, they go places. They hit things. They hit items. They hit people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got y'all gotta think about all that shit. You gotta think about all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You jump out with that pistol, you shoot somebody you don't like, next thing you know, it's all over. It's all over. St. Louis is a small space, man. It's a small space. You know? And 
You can only do so much and go so far in this area without somebody knowing what you up to. Flat out. Y'all got to be careful out there. Y'all got to stay smart and you got to stay dangerous. You got to be prepared. You got to know what's going on. Y'all got to. I would hate for somebody to do what this brother did and lose their life. He is creating opportunity for people in the hood. He's trying to give something back to his siblings, his family members. He's trying to leave something to his people. And instead of you trying to help and extend the, the progress, you want to take it away. Like I say, beef is beef. Drama is drama. Drama is drama. That's understandable. That's real. Not taking that away from nobody. I could dig it. I understand it. It's real. Been there. Done that. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, it's a time for some things, and, this is, and it's not a time for things. Maybe that was your time. Maybe whoever pulled the trigger felt like, if I don't get this nigga now, I ain't going to never get him. Maybe you didn't get him. Maybe it wasn't supposed to be got. You see what I'm saying? Maybe it wasn't supposed to happen that way. Because you done pulled up, tried to earn his brother out, and he's still alive. That's the God in him keeping him alive. It ain't his time, homie. It ain't his time. But the brother that pulled that trigger corner is a motherfucker, little homie. It's a motherfucker. You don't always get it in you don't always get it in the prison system. You know what I'm saying? You pull that gun out, you shoot somebody, you hit somebody, it's not always about going to prison. Motherfucker might come back and shoot you up. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't die, your ass will be paralyzed, fucked up, and can't move, eating out of a tube type shit. You know what I'm saying? Let that bullshit beef go, homie. Let it go, man. Let the little brother try to make his money and make it right. He's trying to make the city better, man. He's trying to invest in the city and make an opportunity for the homies that don't have opportunities. Look at it. See it for what it's worth, man. I'm quite sure this little brother ain't trying to just open the business and get some shit started and not and not let people grow with him. I'm quite sure if this brother get this 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 business started, this this fashion store open, he will be hiring. He will be hiring. He will give people opportunities to come in there and work with him and work for him and learn from him. He's 20. He's 20. He's on to something. Hell, I could learn something from him. We all could learn something from him. We got a young business mind. Flat out. St. Louis, stop the bullshit hate, man. Stop it. Put them goddamn guns down. Put the goddamn guns down. For real. If you're going to shoot, go to the shooting range, join the army or something. But all this random gunplay in the street making the city hot, police every goddamn where, babies getting shot, innocent bystanders getting killed, unnecessary bullshit, yo. Flat out. Cut the shit. It's your boy Lou from the Lou, man. Holla at me. Peace.